Alrighty, so what's going on with you guys? I hear you do some wonderful things with hair. Well, I'd like to think so. So we do luxury volume extensions that go on the top of the head, so I'll show you. Sweet. So it's not all my hair. I've got somebody who would love to talk to you. Oh, yes. Right, let me get you to use that one. All right. Whoops. And you can put the head... Are you talking to Chris? Yep. Sure. All yep. Right, put the headset on. Do I need to get super, super close or not uh, as close? Not About right here? Uh, uh, closer. About right here? About right there. Okay, perfect. That's good. That's good. I can control it. Everything's... You know, every device is different on yeah. how close you're supposed to be. I don't want to be too loud because I'm already loud. <laughs> I got the controls over here. Okay, so perfect. You, you are good. I don't want to be yelling at people. <laughs> Magic 98.9, today's hit, yesterday's favorites. I'm Action Jackson, live in the lobby of GHS Children's Hospital for our 11th annual Radiothon. And we need your help and we need your money. So get on the phone and call right now at 1-877-719-5437. That's the Sky Zone phone line for you to make your donations. And the one thing about your donations, all the money stays right here at GHS Children's Hospital to help local kids. You can also text GHS to 51555 or you can head to our website, magic989.com. Still looking for those miracle makers at $15 a month, or, or you can make a one-time donation, whatever your heart desires. We love sharing stories, but I got a particular story here that's very interesting, and is probably one of the best stories I'm gonna have that's not outside of the family here. Our family is not necessarily directly connected to the Children's Hospital, like some of the families you've heard before, but I've got a young lady who helps out families in need. Her name is Lauren Ashton and she is the owner of the Lauren Ashton Collection out of Spottenburg. Hi Lauren. Hi, how are you? Got your husband Chris here. What's going on Chris? Yes sir. You doing alright? Doing well, doing well. Well good. Lauren, you got a, Ash a Lauren Ashton Collection. Tell us about it. Well, we do luxury volume extensions and length extensions, and we help lots of women that have gone through cancer or thyroid conditions or autoimmune diseases um, that have their hair thin out. So we love to be able to give back to the women and customize a hair piece for them to make them have their confidence back with their hair. And it's not wigs. It's not, so it's a little bit different. Um, we kind of explain it like that it's a push-up bra for your hair because it just enhances <laughs> what you naturally already have. And women love that because a lot of times with wigs, if you already have some hair, it's really you really don't need a wig it doesn't need to be completely fake it can be some of your hair integrated with the piece and everything so it works out a lot better for women that do have some hair but just have fine or thinning hair and it makes it just look more fuller and it more does natural. yes and it takes only you know 30 seconds or so to clip it in and it's zero damage to the customer's own hair which is very important for us can you do this for children as well? yes we do we have had a number of children um, who have gone through some type of sickness and they're able to wear our hair and it just I love seeing the smile on their face after we get finished because you can just tell that they just light up in the mirror when we spin them around. <laughs> you light up just talking about yeah, it. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? So this is our third year. In January it'll be our third year and then we were in product development for about a year and a half before that. What made you decide to do this? So I grew up um, in a salon setting my entire life. My mom actually does hair in Boiling Springs and owns a salon so I've grown up around it and I always it's wanted Tinsley and Company Salon and I always wanted to be able to have you know thicker hair and I would always show the picture to the hairdresser that was doing my hair and it would never look that way and then I soon realized that you know the person in the picture that wasn't their hair either but there was nothing made properly so I wanted to kind of set out on a mission to be able to um, you know bring a luxury piece of hair for the everyday woman so that she can have confidence just like a celebrity and so what led you to get into providing the service for uh, patients and great question so I remember the first time that I was able to help someone um, with alopecia and her name is Ruby she's actually the number one um, video on our YouTube channel because her makeover is so phenomenal and I went to a salon just for a couple of hours to, to do an event and I ended up having to go back the next day because there were so many people there and Ruby walked in and I knew the second she walked in 
that I would be able to change her life. And she came in, and as soon as I um, clipped the piece onto her, everybody in the place, <laughs> there was not a dry eye in there. I mean, we were all sobbing, crying, knowing, you know, that this would change her life because she's never had a lot of hair before. So, so you as a company, this is your first time as a sponsor for Radiothon? Right? Yeah, that's correct. This is the first time and won't be the last. We'll definitely be back. We've had a great experience here. So what led you to, to become a sponsor? So actually, our brand director, Patty, her daughter um, had an accident on a horse when she was like seven or eight years old old and Patty you know told us how much the Children's Hospital was there for her during that time and you know we just felt really led to be able to you know be a part of this and be able to give back to children because up until now we've you know we've done a lot to change people's lives with our hair um, but have not been able to give back to children as much as we would like to so this was a great opportunity in our local community to be able to give back to our you know the local children in our community. And Chris how are you involved in this? Well I am the CEO of the Lauren National uh, I help on the business side, the accounting side, and I'm just her hype man. Your hype man. Yeah. No, don't let him fool you. He can clip a hairpiece on somebody. <laughs> That's great. It is a phenomenal story. If anybody wanted to get in touch with you, yes. need your services, I can do yes. that. Yes. So you can you can pretty much find us anywhere. You can go to thelaurenashtoncollection.com. Um, we're on all social media platforms as well, and we have you know we have all of our YouTube videos, and um, we were actually a part of the Grammy. So if you Google us, um, you'll find all the information so on you us. Got everything. Big time. Got your own well, we're, 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 we're trying we're to get trying. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're on our way. We're on our way. Lauren, Chris, I appreciate you sharing your story with us. Oh, and you're best welcome. Of luck to you the thank you so today. much. We and appreciate thank it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. That's Lauren and Chris Aston of the Lauren Aston Collection, and we appreciate them being a sponsor of this year's radio time. We like to share stories of the families that uh, benefit directly from your donations, and we're going to listen to the story now of Alex and Carter Gibbs. Thank you. Time. You made me feel so comfortable. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot I was talking you. on anything. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you, you so much. Have a good evening. Continue luck, okay? 